Here's the field for the 11th race. Second elimination for the Philly Futurity, and number one is Woman's Will. Libfeld and Katz co owned Julie Miller Trains, Andy Miller Driving. Number two is Dancing in the Hall, owned by the Vanersoul Incorporated Group, trained by Oka Sponsted and driven by Yannick Jingra. Number three, Side Bet Hanover, SRF Stables, Jonas Sarnison and Corey Callahan. Number four, Celebrity Eventsy, Celebrity Farms, Staff and Lynn, the trainer, John Campbell driving. Number five is Wildflower, owned by Oka Sponsted Incorporated, Sipple, Mal and Janet Burroughs, Oka Sponsted Trains and Drives. Number six, Gin and Lindy, Lindy Farms of Connecticut, Frank Antonacci and Tim Tietrich. Number seven is Gracie Hanover, Melby Guard Incorporated, also trained by Oka Sponsted with Dave Miller. Number eight is Double Exposure, Brittany Farms and Mel Hartman, Tony Alanya, the trainer with Scott Zeron. And at the back of the post parade is number nine, Miss Tesla. Miss Tesla stables trained by Jimmy Tactor. Brett Miller is in the sulky. No changes, post time coming up shortly. The Four Roses Bourbon starting gate is rolling, and it's post time for the second elimination for the Kentucky Philly Futurity, sponsored by Marvin Katz and L. Libfeld. Again, the top five finishers come back for race 14, a field of nine lined up. They're at the post. They're approaching the start, 51st edition of the Kentucky Philly Futurity. Here they come. And they're off strong start from Gracie Hanover, who kicks out well from the outside. Side bet Hanover is right there between horses, and Woman's Will protecting the rail position is driving through for Andy Miller as Gracie Hanover crosses over and clears the lead. Dancing in the Hall comes away fourth as they trot around the opening turn. Celebrity Eventsy's up in the bit there, racing in fifth, and Campbell has a huge hold of her, trying to drop her in on the inside there. Racing in sixth is they head around the turn, moving toward the quarters. Wildflower, and up on the outside, it's Woman's Will with a give and go, right back out to retake and 28 seconds flat. Further back in the field, racing in seventh as they move on to the back stretch is Jin and Lindy. A length behind them, racing in the eighth spot is double exposure, and Miss Tesla will have to do it from last where she trails the field, and side bet Hanover sprints up after Woman's Will. So it's side bet Hanover for Corey Callahan to the front. Woman's Will is going to yield for the two-hole there in second. Gracie Hanover is right up close in third as they near the half-mile marker. Dancing in the hall sits in. Celebrity Eventsy is coming first over. Wildflower gets her cover. There they're halfway home in 55 and 4. Seventh on the outside is Gin and Lindy as they move on to the far turn. Stacked up with excess cover at this point is double exposure. And Miss Tesla in a tough spot is ninth and trailing the field. And with little more than three eighths to go, it's side bet Hanover who leads the way. Celebrity Eventsy marching up on the outside into the second spot just off the leader's wheel. Woman's Will will need to shake free in behind the pacemaker racing in third as they come through the three-quarter marker in 124 and 4. Wildflowers following live cover. And she kicks out now three deep on the outside as they come to the top of the stretch and continuing to lead the way home and drifting out just to touch his side bet Hanover. Looking to rally up the rail, dancing in the hall. Up on the outside, Jin and Lindy is coming on. On the far outside, it's double exposure. So they're heading down to the line. Side bet Hanover full out. Dancing in the hall, looking for a big upset up the rail. At the line, dancing in the hall. Through on the inside to win it. Side bet Hanover may have saved second from double exposure in a photo in 153.
coming back to the uh, Diamond Creek Winner's Circle. Upset winner in the second elimination, the Kentucky Philly Fraternity. It's number two, Dancing in the Hall. A Cantab Hall Philly out of Dew in the Town by Donna Rail. Bred in Maryland by Joe Thompson's Winback Farm. Owned by the Vanner Soul Incorporated Group of Vero Beach, Florida. Ocas Bonstead, the trainer, and Yannick Gingra is in the sulky. Great time to pick up your first win of the year in the second elimination of the Kentucky Philly Fraternity. And Dancing in the Hall has done it. She won last year here as a two-year-old and wins today in a career best of 153 flat. So in the winner's circle, Al Libfeld, Marvin Katz, Sam Goldband, Jane Glass, Jim Glass, and family to make the... Uh, Trophy presentation to Yannick Gingra on the winning connections of Dancing in the Hall, the Vanersoul Group, for the Ocas Fonstead Stable. Big thank you to Jane Glass and the Glass family for joining us today, as they do every year, for the Kentucky Philly Fraternity to make the trophy presentation on behalf of Jane's late husband, Bart Glass, one of the premier bloodstock agents and a great uh, pedigree expert and a fellow that certainly knew what a good standard bread should look like and helped purchase many of those over the years. A lot for Marvin Katz, Libfeld, and Goldband. Finishing second, number three, side bet Hanover. Third was number eight, double exposure. And fourth was number six, Gin and Lindy. Well, we saw some big prices yesterday. Here's a big one here, dancing in the hall. 96.80 to win, 26.20 to place, and 14.40 to show. Number three, side bet Hanover, 540 and 5 even. And third, number eight, double exposure, 640. 2 3 exacta, 240, 640. One dollar try, 238, $1,170.60. 20 cent super of 2386, $1,259.60. 12th race up next, the big one, the 124th edition of the Kentucky Fraternity with a big field of 12 going postward. 20 cents super high five wagering. First half of the late double, also exacta and trifecta. The 11 and 12, Marion Marauder and Bar Hopping start in trailing positions in the second tier. One dash in the Kentucky Fraternity for $431,000, about 10 minutes to post. Dancing in the hall. Dances up the rail for Yannick Gingra to win in 153 and a huge upset. Here's Yannick with Gabe. But Sam and uh, Yannick uh, Philly coming off a break. You'd never driven her before. Big long shot. What was the plan going in? Uh, just try to stay as close to the rail and uh, open uh, something opens up. But she felt really strong actually uh, around last turn. So I figured at that point I'd make the final. But um, all the way through the stretch, she kept you know, picking them up one by one. It had to be nice when everyone kept moving off the rail in front of you. Yeah, that definitely made you no know, made it opening for me. That's for sure. Yeah, I definitely uh, that that was a. Uh, no, that game changer. You saw Broadway Donna there in the uh, first division. Uh, obviously, do you think this uh, Philly can step up and go that type of uh, mile? Well, you know, she did go two seconds faster. So, uh, you know, if Broadway Donna comes back to that mile, I think we're uh, we're up against it. But, you know, but then on the, on the other hand, you can look at it as uh, she had to go two seconds faster in the first seat. Which, you know, we'll see how much she has left for the next one. So we'll see. One thing about it, uh, she uh, probably is not going to be the 47-1 to proposition in the uh, finals, what she was there in the uh, first uh, heat. Talk to us uh, about your assignment up next. I know this is on your mind. Any last-minute thoughts heading into the uh, futurity here, the signature event with Southwind Frank? Uh, no, you know, it just depends uh, if uh, the Southwind Frank that we all know shows up. And uh, he was very good in the qualifier last, last week. And if he comes back um, as good today as he was then, I think we'll, be, uh, we'll do all right. Well, he was very good here last year. Yeah, he sure was. He loved this track. And uh, that's the only reason why he wouldn't be today. All right. Good luck, Yannick. Uh, 12th race at Kentucky Maturity. It's up next, and it's coming up uh, shortly. 
Thanks, Gabe. Here's the order of finish for the 11th race, the second Philly Futurity Elimination. Woman's Will was eighth. Dancing in the Hall, the winner. Side Bet Hanover, second. Celebrity Eventsy was ninth. Wildflower, sixth. Jin and Lindy, fourth. Gracie Hanover was fifth, so she makes the final. Double Exposure, third. And Miss Tesla was seventh. Rechecking 812-964-537-153.